So I've got Max at Infogrid and he is going to be answering our spotlight questions today. So Max, first of all, tell me about what your company does in one sentence. One sentence is hard, but we use Internet of Things sensors to gather data about buildings to help them become more sustainable. Very, very interesting. And how would you summarize your working environment? So the best way we say is, is we work on, on what we call grown up rules. So we hire people who are great and we give them the space and the respect they need to do their job well and give them the space to do it how and best they, they see fit. Sounds very sensible to me. And how would you describe your culture specifically? Uh, the culture is quite heavily built on transparency where we're trying to be really open and honest with everyone. And that starts at the top where we're told a lot more than most places. Yeah. Um, but we are remote first as well, which is something where we're, we're always trying to be find ways of building that considering most of our people have never met anyone. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we're a very open, honest and transparent culture. We're trying to build a super collaborative environment, but we're still definitely on a journey to do this as we continue to grow quickly. Yeah, and I think as a remote company, the fact that you've managed to build that kind of culture is quite impressive because a lot of a lot of remote first companies do struggle. Yeah. So were you always remote first or have you switched to being more flexible? We have always been remote first. We did have the benefit that before COVID, we were quite small, mm -hmm. um, but our first technical team was based in Estonia and we had people in London, but we still had kind of very flexible working for them and then over the last year, we've been hiring all over the UK. So we're remote first for most of our business yeah. um, and then very remote and flexible friendly for, for the rest who are more office based. Cool. And could you ever personally return to an office only work environment where you were in every day? No, I would. I would not. <laughs> um, what are your favorite benefits at Infigrid? Um, I think the, the kind of the best one, which is one I know I don't use as much as I should, but most companies give people money to spend on personal development. Yeah. We give people time. So there is a day, uh, you can take a day per month for your personal development, and there's non-work work time, um, which a lot of our technical teams use quite heavily. Yeah. The non-technical teams use less, but that's part of our journey to try and figure out the best ways for people to use that time. Yeah, that's awesome. A day a month is, is really generous. And then what is your, personally, your favourite thing about working at Infigrid? Um, I think the big part is we're working on a great mission. We're trying to save the planet. Um, but we're also working with super smart people who are trying to drive towards the same thing. So it's, it's kind of com com a junction of a great project, a great mission, but then great people who want to work on the same thing. Yeah. yeah. And I think as more and more people look for purpose-driven roles and purpose-driven companies. It definitely yeah. sounds like Infogrid's a great place to start looking. So if you could tell prospective employees one thing, what would it be? Um, I think we are, like I said, we are doing great thing here and we have a really ambitious mission, but it's also the super fast growth environment where there is so much to do, yeah. um, where it is hard work, it is that fast growth startup environment. It's not for everyone, but for a lot of people, it's super exciting and we're doing something great with what we're doing. Yeah, but I think it's great to be honest about that because there are loads of people looking for it. And equally, you don't want to hire someone where it isn't. For no, them. They, they won't enjoy it and we won't enjoy them being here and then it will, won't work out and nobody will be happy. <laughs> you, want a, you want a fit for your environment yeah. that's the skills. So what do you look for in new hires if you could name kind of one or two characteristics? Um, I think the, the big thing is like, they need to be have the right skills. But beyond the skills, we look for what we call is ownership. So someone who is wanting to take that ownership, take responsibility of what they're doing, be proud of what they're doing and not need the micromanagement or not really need heavy guidance. We're there to support, but you're there to do it yourself. It fits into kind of the grown up rules environment. Yeah, that makes complete sense. And then a off-piste question for you. What is your ideal future of work scenario? How would you want to be working in five years? Um, so I, I like kind of the way we're working right now, which is you can work in the office when you need to and you have that flexibility, but you can work remotely as well. Um, I imagine when we start being able to travel again, we could go to the environment where you could work overseas for a little bit. My, my partner is, is from France and in an ideal world, we'd probably work a couple of months a year from France because that would make it easier to do both sides. Yeah. But I think 
both is is so important. The amount of times I've spent in the office over the last few months, you get so much value from it, although you do less work and you do more of a commute. Um, but there is a lot, I see a lot of value in in-person interactions. Yeah, so it's kind of making a bit more of like a, a seamless hybrid experience that also you can mock in with work from anywhere. Yeah. That's pretty great to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Working as well. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much for answering my questions.